Hey, this is Bitburner, and I'm going to show you guys how to get Gephi ready to do some Twitter graphs. So first things first, to get Gephi even working, you're going to have to go to the Java page and download the manual 64-bit version, uh, the offline version of Java. It, I think this is the mistake that most people make is that you have to go do this ahead of time and uh, or the, you get an error and the program won't launch. So make sure I'll put this link in the description uh, and I'll also put it up on the screen. And it's really easy. It's just at their uh, downloads page, uh, the manual download page on uh, Java. You can get this to, to this easily through a Google search as well. So I've downloaded the manual Java here and I've already installed it, uh, but that's what it looks like. And then um, also we're gonna download um, Gephi. If you just go down to their, uh, to their website, you can download it. We're gonna do for Windows, but uh, it, this, this applies also to um, Mac and Linux. You would basically go through the same processes, making sure that you have uh, uh, Java 64. All right, so let's get started and make an actual Twitter application to, so that we can actually collect the tweets for our, for our graphs. So first we're gonna create a new app and we're gonna give it a unique name. We gotta give it something good because a lot of names are already taken. So, uh, this, um, graph thing, that's fine. Use to make graphs. And for the site that it's coming from, we'll just put that in as my, um, Oops, why well, I put a dot com at the end. I could put my website too, but it's just a, a callback URL, that sort of thing. We'll make our application, and there we go. So right off the bat, um, you want to keep things like your your access tokens and uh, your a uh, auth stuff secret. You don't want to show that to anybody. I'm going to show you guys because it doesn't matter. I'm going to destroy these keys afterwards. So you guys won't be able to do anything with them anyway. Uh, and they'll just be used to, to, um, be able to show you what's actually happening here. So I don't have any, uh, access tokens generated. So I'm going to generate an access token. And this is normally the thing you don't want anybody to see. Uh, and this gives you read and write ability to your account. And this account I'm using is my uh, real bot car account, which I use for uh, testing and and, and um, testing AI and that sort of thing. So uh, you can come over here to permissions too and give it the kind of permissions it needs. Uh, in this case, um, we're only needing read only. So we're gonna put read only on there. That it, even if somebody were to get my key for some reason with this, they would only have read only access to that. So I'll say update that, I'll get these, uh, I'll, I'll make note of these keys. We'll leave this open and I'm going to get into Gephi and then I'll show you what we're going to do with these keys that are here. So uh, hold on a second and I'll bring up Gephi. All right, so here we have Gephi. And I'm going to actually install the Twitter plugin is which, what we need in here. So I'm going to go to tools to plugins and going to go to available plugins and I'm going to list by name here, sort by name. And we want the Twitter streaming import. We're going to click that and click install. I'm going to go through the install process until it's restart. It'll do some stuff with uh, NetBeans. You'll see some NetBeans stuff pop up and then you'll have uh, your basically Giphy right back as it as it was um, you should have now a new thing under window called Twitter streaming importer so now what you want to do is take tw Twitter streaming importer and click it and you'll get a new tab down here for all the settings for Twitter streaming importer and it's a neat little uh, little simple plugin you have a way to save your queries your queries are words or users so you don't have to put the at symbol you just put the user account in there um, and words can be hashtags or just regular anything you could search for 
full Twitter network will get the whole tweet and display the whole tweet as the uh, as the label, um, and it will just pretty much gather the the whole tweet. Um, hashtag network will only gather tweets that have a uh, a hashtag with another related hashtag. So you're only going to see hashtags. And user networks are only user accounts and will only display user accounts. And this is typically what you want to see here. Uh, um, when a, uh, what user accounts are tweeting, say, what words, or what user accounts are being tweeted by their followers or other people. So that's what we want to do. So we're going to set up the credentials part here. So we're going to go to credentials. And every all these uh, things that we're going to put in here are on that Twitter page that we had before. So you're going to want to um, get that Twitter page ready also. So I got this. And I'm going to go back in here to credentials. And you can see I have consumer key, consumer key, consumer secret key, consumer secret key. Token, access token, access token, access token secret, access token secret. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put those in there. Put that in there. All right, we've got our credentials in, and now we can test out our actual query here. I'm actually gonna give it a hashtag. The net neutrality hashtag is pretty popular. I don't want the full network, I wanna want the user network. Notice the connect button is not, um, call, you know, you can't click it. It's grayed out, look at all these grayed out things. It's because I haven't actually loaded a project. So I'm gonna say new project, and now everything comes to life. I hit connect here and I actually get uh, a population of stuff here and if I let it run for a while I'll get all sorts of goodies um, if I let it run for hours I'll get lots and lots and lots of uh, uh, tweets right now it's saying there's 60 nodes so um, that's quite a bit that means that there are that's a, it may there may be a lot of people listed in one tweet and so sometimes there's one tweet but it connects to many people so really cool stuff what I'm gonna do in my next video is I'll have a bunch of these loaded up and I'm gonna show you how to get in heavily into its design and manipulation and making it look awesome and all that good stuff so now you're set up you can collect tweets and you can get that part going and then the next video will make it look great all right see you then thanks guys